Hello, welcome to the Pursuit of Truth. It is the 13th of August 2018. So I was commenting on uh, one of Gal Beyond the Imaginary Curve's videos, which was the one about first principles. And I just left a comment, basically what I said um, in this podcast before. Um, and someone Rodney G put a comment afterwards. I'm not sure why he didn't start his own comment because I would have thought what most of what he said was against what Gav or Dow what was saying. Well, they did have a little bit to do with what I said, but I don't know why. It seemed like he was just trying to gatekeep me by I don't know why he needs to tell me what he thinks. But anyway, yeah, but his comment did make me think in the sense that he was talking about, you know, uh, where well, he was ridiculing, uh, I think, Gav's understanding of, of the subject or m- making out that Gav had a conspiracy complex and that, um, you know, saying that all science was, you know, he was generalising, basically. But I, whereas I thought that the, the lesson that Gav gave was very enlightening, but it made me think about how I, how I reacted when I saw this guy's comment, you know, it was very well worded and, you know, it made sense and it looked, you know, authoritative and it made me realise that how we are, we, we see things like that, you know, we don't question things enough. Um, because when I saw it, it made me think, oh, is this guy right? And then, you know, when I listened to Gav, I thought, yeah, he sounds right. And it made me think about how, yeah, it's, it's because of schooling, because how schooling works. We're taught by, we sit down at a desk and someone in front of us reads out of a book or reads the book first and then reads it out to us. They don't always necessarily know the subject that well, but you know, it depends how good of a teacher they are, I guess. But basically they're reteaching us what's what's in their syllabus. And that's how we learn. So they're the authority. And we don't we're not taught to question, you know. We may be taught to you know, a little bit maybe, so sort of. they might ask us to to write, you know, your point of view or compare this with that. But a lot of it is, you know, this is the teacher, the teacher's right, the teacher's teaching you. And then you absorb that, and then you're tested on your obs- uh, how much you absorbed. So that's a memory test, really. Programming. And so that what I was thinking about that is like when I was listening to Gav, I was doing the same thing. I, I don't know whether he was talking, you know, he could have been making it up for all I knew. The same as Rodney G could have been just making it up for, for all I knew. The only way I'd ever really know is if I actually go out and check it myself. But the problem is we're not, we don't find that natural because we're not taught that way. We're not taught when we're at school, you know, go out and explore and find things out. Maybe it's because it's not a practical way of, of learning. But I think there needs to be that part in, te- in, in education so that we do have that mindset to question everything. Why? Why should we just believe everything? And that's what it also made me think about is that is it possible that you can be told a lie without knowing? Well, we know that to be true, isn't it? Every one of us has personal experience of that, surely. You know, that people can have a straight face, they can lie to you, and you believe them, and then down the line you find they lied to you. But you wouldn't have known that. Humans have that capacity. So to believe just because you know that then I was thinking about because he was you know it went on and then eventually was sort of towing the line of the the only way that you can learn something is not through the internet not through television but just solely between taking a course or going to school or you know science basically which I don't believe to be true I believe you know you can go outside the world I mean I was learning from how his behavior was how he was speaking it's made me think about things so I don't believe that's true. I believe we can learn by many ways. And just because the internet and television has a lot of bad aspects to it, I don't believe that we can't learn from those things. Yeah, I think they're good educational tools as well. They're used in schools. 
we have the capacity to learn in many different ways. That's what I'm trying to say. And, and the thing is, is you know, I, I believe in a lot of science, and, and you know, I've got no problem with that. The thing is, is that how do we know for ourselves whether something's true or not? Just because you know it's accepted, because that's usually what science is and what was written in textbooks are. It's just because you know a hundred people or a few hundred people have accepted that to be true. Well, that doesn't necessarily make it true, though, does it? We know that science keeps updating itself all the time. You know, Einstein updating as a Newton and uh, Stephen Hawking's updating Einstein. So that doesn't necessarily make things true just because they're written down and accepted. And I think that's the problem that we have. We, we think of it like that. And so that we hold these books and these institutions up high without ever questioning them. And I think that's the problem. And, and you know, so I'm thankful for his comment, although he did, you know, make it difficult for me. But at least it did make me think and has made me you realise that the main thing that we all need to do is not just believe, believe being the operative word, but is to discern for ourselves, is to, to actually bother to check things out if we really truly want to speak about them or hold these thoughts. Because how can you hold a thought that you've never even researched just because you've been taught it? Take care, take it easy, God bless and peace.